quick video going over the Wushtoff Icon 26-piece knife block set. This is the largest set they currently make of the Icon, which is their flagship line, their highest tiered line. And I wanted to both talk about the Icon and give you a bit of information and then also show you everything that's in the set. And it's a large set, obviously, so it might go off of the cutting board. I hope you guys don't mind. First piece is this 26-slot block. Very, very nice, very, very well made. It's in the natural color. And from there, we're gonna start showing you pieces. I'm actually gonna take them from here and place them on, just because, like I said, there are so many pieces that if I had just put them here, it would've been a mess to begin the video like that. First and foremost, we have the standard eight inch chef's knife, which is the workhorse of the kitchen. We have the eight inch wonder knife, which is essentially like a slicer, santoku, chef's knife combination. We have an eight inch bread knife, which you're gonna use for loaves of bread. The serrations are gonna help you cleanly cut through. Seven inch hollow ground santoku knife, which is essentially an Asian version of the chef's knife. I personally prefer them, but it's a preference type of thing. A six inch utility knife, which you're gonna use when you don't wanna whip out one of the bigger knives, so essentially for smaller jobs. A five inch boning knife that you're gonna to use to break down primal cuts into their smaller counter portions. A six inch chef's knife, essentially the little brother of this guy right here. On that same note, the five inch Santoku knife, also hollow ground, the younger brother of that guy right there. You have a five inch utility knife that is serrated. A four and a half inch straight edge utility knife. A three and a half inch paring knife that again you hold in your hand like this and you feed food into to peel and to break down into smaller portions. A three inch sheep's foot flat paring knife. It's essentially just a smaller Santoku knife. You use it for mincing and for fine chopping, and essentially it gives you more dexterity because it is smaller. Close enough. You also get a two and a half inch bird's beak paring knife that's used for decorative cuts and to round out objects. You get this gorgeous carving fork that I'm actually very, very fond of. You get this flexible filleting knife for cutting up fish and to skin it. You get eight of these steak knives. I'm only gonna put one there, but eight of these little steak knives. There we go. You get a gorgeous premium honing steel with very, very nice ridges on it and a matching handle. None of the other sets actually come with this. And then you also get this really, really nice set of stainless steel shears that are breakaway and are actually forged, unlike the plastic variants that the smaller sets come with. So as you see right here, you have your 26 piece icon set. And now let's discuss exactly what makes the icon the icon. Like I said earlier, it's their flagship line, but even though it's their flagship, it's still 90% the same as the classic line. The reason I say that is because it uses the same exact metal for the blade and the blade is ground down to the same sharpness or the same cutting angle. The blade uses 58 hardness steel that is made specifically by Wushtoff to their own specifications. And that's nice because it's right in the middle ground. <clears throat> it's hard enough to where you don't need to worry about losing the edge quickly, but it's soft enough to where you also don't need to worry about chipping or damaging the edge during just normal daily use. 
The edge is actually ground down to 14 degree angle, which is a blisteringly sharp angle. To put that in perspective, shoons, which are very, very well known for being so sharp, are only a 16 degree angle. That means that this knife has two degree thinner angle on either side, so you understand how sharp that is. And because of the metal they use, it holds that edge very, very well. All of the knives are forged and handmade in Germany, and they have this very, very thick, meaty tang to them. But they also have this extra material here at the bottom, which I hope you can see. And the entire point of that is, number one, it looks really nice and it adds a nice design flair to it. But number two, it also gives it an insane amount of weight towards the base of the knife, which makes it sort of fall into your hand. And second of all, the actual handle, you can tell they've spent a lot of time and energy and frankly money engineering to be the most ergonomic handle they could. And the reason I say that is because no matter how you're holding it, it fits into your hand perfectly. And that along with the weight makes it feel almost like a total extension of your arm. You don't get tired as you're working with it. And it just, I know that's a bad angle, but still, you really don't get tired while you're working with it. And it just feels amazing as you cut with it. And I really like it a lot. So if you like German style knives, this is gonna be the best set you can possibly buy. It's gonna have every single thing you're ever gonna need in the kitchen. But with that said, there is one decision you need to make, and that is the type of handle you want. You can either get the black handle like you see here, you can get a cream colored handle, which is gonna pop a bit more in the kitchen, or if you wanna go all out, really, really go hard, you can get their blackwood handle. And blackwood is a wood from Africa, it has an amazing grain structure to it, and it's actually a very, very dark brown wood. And the interesting thing is that it's very restricted. Only a couple of pieces leave a year. And Wushtoff grabs it up and they use it for the handles. So if you get the black woods, you're literally getting a limited edition knife that has one of the rarest woods in the world attached to the handle. If you don't want to have that crazy of a knife, you can just get the black or the cream colored one. It's going to work the same, obviously. And either way, it's going to be the best German knife you can possibly get. I'll put a link down to it below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.